Hello, Stu here from diymusic.co.uk with FL Studio quick tip number five, assigning automation clips to multiple parameters. And this is uh, quite similar to the last quick tip, but fundamentally different. Instead of copying automation data, we're actually going to use one automation clip to control uh, as many different parameters as you want. Okay, so I have here a automation clip which is controlling the uh, element of this tone generator uh, in Citrus. It's actually linked to the X here, so if I'll just show you what that does. So you can see that's working just like an automation clip should. Now, a little bit later on, uh, we get a bit of a bass action. This is really basic uh, music, no, no hits here. So um, I've added a bass line, which goes like this. Awesome, isn't it? And uh, what I'm going to show you how to do is basically use this envelope to uh, control something in the base. So we'll get that up here. It's another instance of Citrus. It's actually exactly the same, I just copied it. And uh, let's control the same thing again. So what you need to do is go and right click on the parameter. And then we're going to link to controller, which is the same way you might link to a, an external MIDI controller. And when this little dialog pops up, you want to look in here internal controller and uh, look at your pull down list and this will show you all the automation clips that you've made in your project so look at the name it's default main modulation x envelope and you can see that here so if i click on that i've now told it to uh, use that as a controller for the new parameter now note this bit in red here what will happen if i put that button on and accept, it will disable the automation clip controlling whatever it was controlling before. So with that, if, if this is lit, you can only use the automation clip for one parameter. So we want to make sure that's off. Remove conflicts has gone red just to let us know that there is a conflict. So where that's what we want. It's controlling more than one thing. We've selected that one. And uh, here we go. So click accept. And now we should see the controller uh, moving the bass and the tone at the same time. There it goes. And there you have it. Uh, it doesn't have to be the same kind of parameter. You could... Um, <clears throat> You could link it to the the Y as well. Oh, I mean, literally anything. I'm just, uh, for example, remember, don't remove conflicts, except. And now, now it's controlling both the X and Y at the same time. It could be something in your mixer. Maybe the volume. Link that. Click. Accept. And now we're controlling the volume of the tone. All at the same time. So there you go. That is um, exactly how you link automation clips to as many parameters as you like. Uh, it's also useful if um, maybe you've set up an automation for one instrument and then you decide you don't want to use that instrument anymore. Uh, but you want to keep that kind of automation going, you can assign it to the new controller, uh, the new parameter, and then you can still always go back. And it's important, I should show you how to unassign it as well. So if I actually wanted to turn that off where it was controlling my X in the original tone, I can right click where it says link to controller, click on that again. It's all done in this dialog. And I just change internal controller to none. 
and I accept that. So now it's no longer controlling the thing I originally set it up to control, but it is controlling two other different things. So there you go. I hope that's helped and uh, you find that useful in some way. That is FL Studio Quick Tip number five, which is assigning automation clips to uh, multiple parameters. Uh, there are more FL Studio Quick Tips. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a look around there, you'll find uh, Quick Tips as well as um, a number of tutorials with more to come. I'm adding more all the time. And uh, also check out my website, which is diymusic.co.uk. There's uh, FL Studio stuff there, as well as all kinds of home studio stuff and things. It's basically for uh, DIY musicians, home uh, studio fanatics, and bedroom producers like me. I'm going to leave it at that for now. Uh, look out for the next quick tip, and we'll catch you later. Thank you very much.